Heidi were like, we didn't expect it to be this nice, so really loving it. Um, we're just sitting at a little cafe to get matcha because me and Heidi are still waking up so much earlier than the other girls. I don't know how they manage to sleep in so much, but it is 11.30 and they're just getting ready to meet us for lunch. Mm. The late rise is at it again. Bye. Am I your therapist? Yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling today? I'm really full. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> Still full. <laughs> but could you really describe that sensation for me of fullness? So you know when you eat a lot and you feel like you're going to explode? And you just feel really full? Okay, so this is my problem. <laughs> The reason why our relationship isn't working out at the moment is because Heidi keeps on saying she's full, but she's actually pregnant, and she's in denial about it. Is that is that true? No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> see, do you see what's happening? It happens every single time. This it's is just... a common problem amongst couples, <laughs> and I think the best way to it's go just about food. this. It's food. Just because I haven't had my period for like three months. There's a few truths in this conversation. <laughs> Three truths, one lie. Three truths, one lie. <laughs> one, I'm <laughs> pregnant. Two, two lies. Can we play that game? Okay. I used to have a pet turtle and I, s and I gave it back to the woods and... Gave it back to the woods? Like, I let it free mm -hmm. one day and I never saw it again. Okay. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's way too specific to be. Are you doing, how many no. lies? How many long to say? How many lies? Is it two lies, one truth. Two, so there's two, two truths, truth, one lie. lie. Okay. So next one. One time, I peed in the ocean, <laughs> and then I got out. And as soon as I got out, exactly where I peed was a great white shark. Literally. Came in and. Okay. In Byron. Yeah. Actually. Next one. And she said actually, so it's true. Um, and then my last one would be. Uh, one time I was in Sydney and I walked past a pop up shop and. It was a really small pop-up shop and I almost went in there but it looked a bit crowded so I didn't go. And actually Post Malone was there. I didn't and I took a photo of Post Malone and didn't realise it until I looked back at the photo and I was like, huh, Post Malone wasn't that. Okay, top. I know one of them's true. I know. The second one's true. The shark one. Yeah, the first one. So the first one's a lie. lie. No, the shark is a lie. Mm. I did have a total. And I did let it free. I'm literally just trying to like do some work. I have some <laughs> orders <laughs> that I need to fulfill. My dad's sending them off at home. <laughs> this is the realities of working <laughs> while traveling. Maybe Bella, you need to be propped up on my legs. Oh, I can't stand up like that. <laughs> no, stand on me. Stop throwing vitamins. 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 <laughs> Do you say vitamins or vitamins? Yes. In the boobs it went. Yeah, <laughs> I did get that one. I want to go get myself another one of yes. those. Uh, get it in my belly button. Matcha! 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 I do love it. 
Allah again. Round <laughs> <laughs> it. We need two hands. Oh. Okay, relax your face, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Chloe, maybe you do me and Heidi does Bella. Okay, ready? So, relax the face. Mm -hmm. And Chloe squeeze it. And then I have to smile. And you have to smile. <laughs> <laughs> we look like little donkeys. Little donkeys? <laughs> smile. And open your mouth. With your teeth. <laughs> like it. No. Okay, ready? Ready to quit? Or don't, 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 don't quit. quit? Noodles, no noodles. So we have been chilling in the hotel room for the past hour or two. Um, the girls are reading. We were watching some of the Emma Chamberlain <laughs> Met Gala interviews that are coming out now just for some entertainment. Honestly, we didn't really have much planned for Nara. We kind of just wanted to see the deer and then we thought we would do a day trip out to like go see the cherry blossoms, but obviously there is no cherry blossoms anymore. And we were like, oh, we want to get the mochi. Turns out the mochi is like literally a minute walk from our house. So pretty much we kind of did everything we wanted to do on the first day. And then today we were like, what do we really want to do? So we just chilled. So most of this vlog is us just being weird. And I would say I normally edit that st stuff out of the vlogs because otherwise get they get too long. The girls are always like, why are you taking out all the funny stuff? So you guys are getting the unfiltered... Nara vlog because we haven't done that much travel, travel stuff but I thought that would be a good opportunity to just talk to you guys because I have been getting a lot of questions about like how expensive this trip was like how did we plan it all that jazz so the first question I mainly get asked is like just how expensive it is I think before I came to Japan a lot of people were like oh it's really expensive and then some people would be like oh it's really cheap so I really didn't know what to expect but all of us girls were like on a budget when we were booking this or like, you know, 
you have to save for traveling it's not cheap but we were like definitely no more than $60 a night each um, on accommodation which we were able to do pretty easily I think all the stuff we booked apart from two places on booking.com were from Airbnb food wise I feel like we're obviously vegetarian vegan as if you've been watching the Japan diaries so it has been difficult in some places but I would highly recommend get happy cow the app that's really helpful to like find places and stuff wait what the hell <laughs> I find it really hard not to show my hands. hands. <laughs> Bella's blowing my hands right now. We have been trying to cook a little bit more when we have a kitchen, which we don't in this hotel, but we have in previous Airbnbs and will in the future. But like, yeah, it's definitely good to be able to cook if you're vegetarian, vegan, because a lot of their proteins and nutrition here comes from like fish and meat and eggs and all of that which we try to avoid also with vegan and vegetarian food because there is a high demand for it and not many places we have had to like wait in line for things for quite a while sometimes before sometimes you get lucky and you can just go in but there's been restaurants where we've literally had to wait for like over an hour or like walked all the way to a place and then it's full and had to like walk to another place so i guess just prepare for that there's not really much you can do because a lot of the places don't even like let you reserve but yeah maybe just try to like you know have time for that little buffer so you're not starving because we've definitely gotten to that level Overall, one of my favorite places I've traveled to, it's so fun and feels really safe as well. Like if anyone is thinking of doing solo travel, I feel like it's a really great place to try that. That is all that I can think of right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll try to reply or if any of my Japanese subscribers or people that have traveled to Japan before have answers also just we can have a little conversation in the comments but yeah I am going to edit for a little bit and then I think maybe we'll head off to dinner I'm not sure where we're gonna eat but yeah this is our last night in Nara and then tomorrow we leave to Osaka so I'm really excited for that so we were struggling to find a place to eat and then we found this place and we thought it was gonna be full and they took us to the back and this is our table we're in the underground Basement. dungeon. <laughs> Literally, those stairs lead up to the back of the kitchen. The, the kitchen, like the back of the bar. Like they took us to the back of the bar and then just brought us down here. So it's good though.